Call of Duty is dedicated to delivering the most secure, most trusted gaming experience in the industry for our players. Beginning with Call of Duty Black Ops 7, we're advancing our commitment to security by requiring TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot to protect fair play. For more detailed instructions, read the full guide at support.activision.com slash TPM. PC players need to enable TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot on their machines to be ready for the launch of Black Ops 7 and beyond. Most modern systems already support these features, but you may need to manually turn them on. Let's take a look at how to get started. First, let's check if TPM 2.0 is already enabled. 1. Press the Windows key in R. 2. In the pop-up type tpm.msc. 3. If the status lists version 2.0 and reads, the TPM is ready for use, you're good. If it says, compatible TPM cannot be found, you'll need to enable it in your BIOS. Next, let's check your secure boot status. 1. Press the Windows key in R. 2. In the pop-up type MSINFO32. 3. Scroll to your BIOS mode and confirm it's listed as UEFI. 4. Next, look for Secure Boot State. It should say ON. If BIOS mode is legacy or Secure Boot is off, you'll need to change those settings in the BIOS. To enable TPM, restart your PC and enter your BIOS. Accessing your BIOS can be accomplished in many ways, but one of the easiest is to restart your machine from Windows using Advanced Restart. Then select UEFI Firmware Settings in the Troubleshoot and Advanced Options menu to get to your BIOS settings. Then, on AMD systems, enable AMD FTPM. On Intel systems, enable Intel PTT or Security Device Support. Save your changes and reboot. After Windows loads, run tpm.msc again to confirm TPM 2.0 is active. To enable Secure Boot, restart and enter your BIOS. Go to the Boot or Security tab of your BIOS menu. Set Boot Mode to UEFI. Enable Secure Boot. Save your changes, reboot, and confirm in system information that Secure Boot is on. Note, the location and language may differ from motherboard to motherboard, so check with your manufacturer for specific instructions. The first time the game is launched, you will need to accept the UAC prompt to allow the application to make changes to the device. Simply click Yes. If you run into issues and Call of Duty still gives you an in-game message that your system is not TPM 2.0, or secure boot ready, here's what to do. Update your BIOS to the latest version. Make sure your OS drive uses GPT partition style. And check your motherboard manual for exact instructions. Full details are available anytime at support.activision.com slash TPM. With TPM 2.0 and secure boot enabled, you are ready for the next chapter of Call of Duty. By enabling these features alongside new advancements from Team Ricochet, you are helping power the strongest anti-cheat system in gaming. We are committed to creating the most secure and trusted environment possible for Call of Duty players. Together, we're defining the future of secure gaming.